because I've been taking uh, um, gummy sea moss as well as uh, I drink moringa and I've actually ordered I actually uh, ordered some gummy moringa which again both has uh, anti-inflammatory properties um, also I take uh, um, you know, a couple of this, uh, natural stuff like uh, lion's mane um, well, uh, elderberry, I take it almost every day. Build up your immune system. And uh, multivitamins, right? Oh, before I forget, so, you know, I don't know why I have this mental block when it comes to certain things, but I, I, mean, I, I know why. But as a TI, sometimes you have mental block because it's done to you purposely. So, Whenever I try to correct my kids, or I am correcting my kids, I try, but whenever I'm correcting my kids, they will always use the police side. This just goes to show you how, particularly to the black community and black parents and children, which is why we see a lot of reason why black parents do not correct their children. And it's because they've created this um, environment where, as a, as a black parent particularly, that you cannot correct your child. Right, and whenever I'm correcting my children, they will use the police arm. Even today, like I, I make it a, 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 a one of a priority for that I that my kids take their vitamins. You know, uh, particularly my son has stomach issues, um, like his mother. A lot of noise back here. <laughs> um, so my son has stomach issues, just like his mother. And I get him um, uh, probiotics every month. Uh, he takes. Pro I give him make sure he, uh, to order him probiotics. I also order him um, also um, the gummy sea moss because it's good for any sort of gut issue. Um, you know, to where sometimes his stomach is hurting him so bad, right? Whenever he he eats or whatever, and then his his stool, his poop smells so bad. Okay, but since I've been giving him the 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 probiotics as well as the the gummy sea moss uh, he has not complained about his stomach hurting him on top of that when he uses the bathroom he goes to number two is not as it doesn't smell bad all right I mean they does smell a little you know <laughs> but it doesn't smell as bad as it used to and so when I'm not there I constantly have to ask their mother to make sure that they take their vitamins right this is important particularly also vitamin D Right? So, um, what else? Uh, I ordered also, I had ordered them um, some uh, focus gummies for kids to help, you, help them focus when they're in school. But, you know, they, they never like the taste of these things. And I, I keep trying. Whenever, the, whenever I see like a sale on uh, Amazon, uh, whether it's like two for ten dollars, what have you, or, or what have you, I'll, I'll order it for for them, right? Just a, in hopes that they'll like it, but they, they, you know, you don't like the taste. My daughter hates the taste of uh, only thing she likes is the, the gummy bottoms, right? 
But I also give her like gummy sea moss. I make sure that she takes one, you know, one because it's, it's two per serving. So being that she's a, you know, she's a kid, ten years old, she gets one. Um, I don't give them elderberry every single day. Uh, maybe one every other day, right? And they have become, even though when they get sick, they don't, the sickness don't last long, right? Which is a good thing. And that's definitely because of the elderberry and uh, you know you know, building up the immune system. Because it has vitamin C, it has zinc. Right? And, um, you know, and, you know, they don't eat fast food all the time. Okay? Uh, you know, as much as, um, you know, some, sometimes, sometimes when Pam is so tired, she'll order fast food for them. But it's never McDonald's or anything like that. Um, you know, it's either going to be Chinese food or maybe pizza or what have you. But for the most part, she cooks. I got, like I said, I always give her credit for that. She does cook, okay? And um, then I cook too. Though not as much, and not every day, <laughs> you know, because again, uh, um, that's not the, you know. But whenever they like uh, their favorite dishes that I cook, I cook it for them, right? So again, my kids are not, they, they you know, I watch what they eat, um, you know, and you know, I'm a, I'm, I've always, uh, I'm a tall guy. I've always been, if you're younger, slim. Uh, their mother is, is tall, she's always been slim. So they have that fast metabolism, you know? And, uh, you know, like I said, when I look within the black community, we all notice that, again, 80% of the women in the black community are overweight or obese. 80% uh, are overweight, 80% of those overweight are obese. You know, those are very high numbers, okay? Very, very high numbers. In terms of black men, it's, I think, 60-something percent are overweight or obese. You know, which again, this, these are very unhealthy numbers, right? And so, whenever, again, as a TI, when you start uh, taking these things to help you function better, uh, they don't like that at all. They want to keep you in a state in which they can easily be, you can easily be manipulated, your health deteriorate, you know, they stress you out, and, you know, and then what happens? You develop all the illnesses. Not also because of the stress, but because you're also being hit with directed energy weapons, right? And that activates whatever uh, um, illness that you may develop later based on, you know, your genetic uh profile right so for example if you come from a, if your family have a history of diabetes family have a history of arthritis um, you know you start to, to exhibit uh, those those illnesses will start to, to develop sooner rather than later right so you gotta like for me I have arthritis in my hands so again my, my family is there they're not uh, we don't have a history of arthritis in our family but there is some members of our family that do have arthritis, you know. So yeah, but these things are uh, exacerbated because of being hit with radio and microwave frequency. And again, the studies have been done on these things. So you know, like I said, it's it's nothing that that's surprising, particularly when you know, right? So if you if you study, if you research, you'll see and you'll understand it, right? And again, the U.S. have done research on this stuff since the 1970s. Like, you know, particularly in the late 60s when the American embassy in Russia was being bombarded by microwave and radio wave frequency. Right? So, when they want to act as if they don't know or, you know, they like to tell you that no such uh, weapons exist, that's a flat out lie. And the, and, the, and the reason why they can say this is because they've got the majority of the American people dumped down. Right? So, yeah. Anyhow, this music over there is too loud. Um, I, and again, you know, uh, I, I don't want to get a, 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 a copyright strike on my video. So, again, YouTube, I'm not playing this music. It's not me. Okay? So, anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.